All right, this is a two-parter. Uh, this is one of the last two problems I'm going to do on probability. They're both going to have the same setup. Basically, we've got a jar of marbles, 70 of them, with 10 black, 20 white, and 40 red marbles. We reach in and draw five out. Now, I know this is a jar of marbles, but this is really no different than a deck of cards where I'm dealing five out. There are 13 of the same suit, there are four of the same type. It's, it's basically the same type of problem. Now, I'm going to be doing two different probabilities, each with a different set of circumstances. The first, I think, is a little easier. So, the first is probability that there are two white and there are two red. Now, the way we would write this is the, is the P that W equals 2 and R equals 2. That seems like a logical way to write it. Now, the way we would do this is we would first figure out how many ways can we draw white marbles. So, there are 20 of them, and we're choosing two of them. So, 20 choose two seems like a reasonable answer to the question, how many ways can I pick tw uh, two white marbles? Now, how many ways can I pick two red marbles? Well, that's going to be 40 choose two, a larger number because there are more red marbles. Now, we're choosing five marbles, and I've already spoken for four of them. So, we need to, to choose another marble. But here's the catch. We don't want it to be white, and we don't want it to be red. If we had another color, then we would choose the total number of non-white and red marbles. Well, here that's only one color, which is black. So we're going to do, I'm going to write it as 10 choose 1. But you know that 10 choose 1 is 10, and that there's only 10 other options for our, our total number of ways to choose marbles. And we're going to divide this by our, the size of our sample space. Our sample space is the number of ways that we can pull things out of this jar. And there are 70 choose 5. Now before I actually run this calculation, I want to point out the symmetry. Uh, if I add up all the numerators, not numerators, but all of the ends of these n choose k's, they come out to be 70. That's because we're accounting for all 70 marbles in the pot. When I add up all of the k's in the n choose k, it comes to 5, because I'm taking account of every marble that I'm drawing out. So the symmetry here is reflective of that we're on the right track. Uh, the numbers actually say that the probability of this exact event is going to be about 0.122, or 12.2%. And you can plug that into your calculator. I would never ask anyone to do that by hand. This number alone is gigantic. Um, so, just to recap, this one event, two white, two red, is given by this expression and it comes out to be 12%.